Hello and welcome to my workshop. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a how-to and we're going to be doing that on building a scale item for your garage. So what I have is an assortment of different uh, K&S metals. These are brass pieces, uh, different shapes, tubes, square, rectangle. Um, I do have some stainless steel stuff. So I'm not really 100% sure what I'm going to end up with and so I just grabbed a whole bunch but the idea is to have a rack that'll hold the body of a truck and so sometimes you'll see these in body shops where they'll basically just sit the whole truck down on and um, something that you know I could use to uh, for taking pictures in a scale garage so uh, let's just get started with that and see what we come up with All right, so I got a really good start of what I need to get this uh, this body rack finished up. Uh, so what I ended up finding is some uh, square tubing that slips inside uh, another pieces of square tubing. So I have two of those, and they'll go together like this. Um, then what I'll have are these two pieces on the end, which will be the the feet, so to speak, for each end. So. So you'll have those soldered together. Then what I'm going to do is have uprights. And I'm probably going to put them toward the end. I'm probably going to take a little bit, few measurements, but I think toward the end should be fine. And that'll give me the general idea of what I'm looking for. Now I'll have to come back in and add some bracing here and there. Um, figure out a way to actually, you know, capture the body and be able to, you know, try to think ahead to capture several different, you know, curves and flats and different shapes of bodies but um i'm sure i'll come up with some kind of a mount and the idea is once this is together you'll be able to slip this together and it'll go to about 17 inches which is should be plenty short enough for most trucks and then when you want it to make it a little bit longer you'll just slide that out and it can go up to about 20 something inches so that that should work pretty well i think that should uh cover most of what i'm, I'm uh, doing so uh, let's continue on
Okay, this is actually coming together very quickly and um, surprisingly well. So the uh, both ends have the uprights and you know the the, the legs, the, the feet or whatever you want to call them. Um, and then I just put in this little cross brace. Probably doesn't need it. I mean, it does add a good bit, but it's so thin that I'm not really sure how much it's going to make a difference. It's really just for looks. But um, I also added in just two little pieces on these longer sections and what that'll do is when it's on the ground it'll you know provide a little bit of support in the middle so it won't sag and I'm not really overly worried about that it's just that I'm afraid if it sits over time and sags then it'll be hard for this to uh, slide in and out so just trying to protect from that the um, the top I still have to come up with a way to get the body to sit because right now what you'll do is you'll make this you know just about the length and like I said you can slide this in and out set it whatever length you want but I need something to really catch it and I think what I'm gonna end up using is this thicker um, you know rectangular stock here and so I think the idea is will be to put it right on top of the post and then on each end I'll bend up a little tab so it can't slide and that'll give me a pretty wide gap so if the front end is curved or, or whatever it can still catch it at you know the, the different widths you have and I just silver solder that right on the top and you know do one for each and I think that's pretty well gonna wrap it up other than uh, putting a coat of paint on it so uh, just like I said it's coming together really quickly and uh, really happy with how this is turning out so just so uh, you know show that you can take you know what you have laying around in my case it was a big pile of uh, K&S metals and uh, you know really quickly fabricate up some uh, whatever you need for your scale workshop all right so let's uh, get this thing finished up All right, so I was able to add on these little uh, brackets at the end. And in the end, I just made something pretty simple. Uh, just took the, the thicker uh, pieces of brass and uh, bent them on both ends in the vise. Uh, silver solder right on top, and, and that works just fine. The um, you know center section, as I mentioned, it slides in and out and, and uh, gives you your different lengths. Uh, went with just a kind of a simple blue paint. That's what I had laying on the shelf, but I think it would fit pretty much with what you would see in a uh, workshop for a color for a rack or something they typically like blue or orange or something and so the way this works is that you you just basically just set the truck up on it and it's going to catch the front and rear and uh, it gives it a little bit of height and uh, just kind of has an interest other than just sitting on the ground and it'll get it up high enough to get some of the other nice things on the wall in the shot I can come down low and get you know up shots so I think it's gonna work out really well for uh, you know getting you know final shots and the videos as well as 
uh, thumbnails and stuff for Instagram, and different, just different shots within the scale garage. So I just kind of show you can take something and uh, without a whole lot of effort and uh, not a whole lot of material and just, you know, kind of think it through and and uh, you come up with a little small something like this. It's going to look really good in your scale garage. So looking forward to getting on to other projects, uh, especially finishing up this uh, blazer here. But until then, we'll see you on the rocks.